Hey guys, Seems Vibe here, and it, today is October 16th, 2020, and of course, that means we're talking about Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Mugen Train, or Infinity Train, whichever title you want to call it, movie is released today, but only in Japan, that is where you can see it only, we have to wait to next year for overseas when the movie will be released, of course, it's because of what's going on in the world right now, I don't want to say what it is, because for obvious reasons, and very interesting things have come out, especially one spoiler that has been kept very well hidden, which to my surprise, I am very amazed that the Japanese developers for this movie have not revealed it until literally the day of the movie that was released, so good job on them for that. But of course, if you haven't already, hit that like button for this video, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell when I upload new videos just like this covering anime and manga material just like Demon Slayer. And of course, before I continue, we will be talking about spoilers. Not exactly what happened in the movie, but certain events, and there are some changes from the manga that they did adapt into this movie. So, of course, if you don't know, if you do not want to know what happens, please click away right now. Okay, three, two, one. All right, one is over. Let's get started on these spoilers. Now, throughout the entire production and promotion for the Mugen Train movie, they did a really good job of hiding one key twists and of course if you're a manga reader you know what the twist is at the end of the movie well close close to the end of the movie or should i say close to the end of the arc of, that is adapted from the for this movie and is that um enemu is not exactly the final boss in this arc of course when enemu is defeated by tanjiro and rengoku my apologies it's inosuke with um tanjiro they do manage to defeat and move with that. Of course, that's after a very silver twist that happens, and apparently in this movie, it is much more violent. And there's a lot of adapted scenes that is new to this movie that to make this arc, I guess, longer. Especially if you don't know, Enemu's power is that he can able to make people sleep and able to attack people in their dreams. It's kind of like Freddy Krueger in some way. I can imagine there'd probably be more blood, and also you gotta remember that every time that Tanjiro wants to wake up from a dream, he has to kill himself, so I imagine that's gonna be more violent and throw that in. But of course, this is speculation, I have not watched the movie myself. Also, there would not be any links or anything that you could watch this movie at all. I do not have anything like that, so as you guys know right now. And of course, right after Enemy was defeated, we get the appearance of Akaza. Yep, Upper Moon 3 Akaza comes in, and to be honest, I'm super surprised that they actually held this long to not reveal it until... Actually, uh, when you go into the movie, they actually give, give you a little pamphlet, I think, and they show, like, who's in it. And they finally show Akaza in his anime form, and he's actually um, voiced by a very prominent voice actor, who is Akira Ishida, and he voices uh, a... A good variety of, of voices, but most prominently, he is known as, he is known as the voice for Gara, for Naruto, obviously, Zarif from Fairy Tail, and Cavendish from One Piece. So hearing his voice, I think it's a very good match on, on how Akaza will sound in this movie. But I can only imagine how sadistic and sick it will be, especially much later on in the series. And. Also, um, besides the additional scenes that was revealed in this movie, um, there was original scenes, as I just, I just said. There are some changes. Um, it's not specific what changes there were. As I said earlier, there was more violence, as I thought. I think it is related to when Tanji has to commit suicide to wake himself up from the dreams. And also, there are a lot of people crying in the movie theater. And obviously, spoilers, as I am obviously in the spoiler section, Rengoku is killed by Akasa. And also, everyone thought at the very end of the movie we will get some type of announcement of what is next for the Kimetsu no Yaiba series. Obviously, will there be a season 2? Obviously, there is going to be a season 2 or a, possibly another movie that's going to take place instead of an, uh, a, a 12 or 24 episode series. Um, but surprisingly, there was no announcement of whether or not there will be a new movie or a season 2 coming up, which is rather surprising. Considering how big of a success um, Demon Slayer is in Japan and all over the world. And of course, one thing I left out, the animation for this movie, from what everyone has been saying, has been phenomenal, superb, amazing. So I cannot wait how to see how some of the battle scenes are, are 
and I mean especially with um, Tanjiro taking out on train and and move. I'm just going through full of spoilers right now. Um, you guys should know it by now. Like this is full of spoilers, and um, of course the battle between Rengoku and um, Akasa. So that should be phenomenal to see, especially how the anime staff is going to enhance um, Kotoga's um, art and make it probably as good if not better. But if there happens to be a link or um, somehow the movie gets out, obviously it won't be in great format. I will try to watch it, but obviously support is officially released whenever it does come out. So you guys can support um, the franchise. Obviously that's most important. We'll review it if it does um, somehow come on the internet in some ways. But yes, uh, that'll be it for this video today. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell when I upload new videos just like this. Comment down below of what you think about these spoilers and are you excited to for this movie. If you have watched it already or if you have not, tell me if you're hyped about it and if it lived up to the expectations. So this is Saiyan Survive signing out. I'll see you guys later. Catch you in the next video. I'll be here for um, Yashimini review which will be on Saturday. Hopefully I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye.